this week in the field, knowing when to go vertical. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In the Field. Thanks very much for joining me today. So today uh, talking about uh, going vertical, that portrait orientation on your camera. Now, uh, you're most likely a landscape or a travel shooter if you're on this channel. I know I am, and I'm always in the landscape mode. The camera is shooting more or less horizontally. And I was out at this, uh, this spot in San Diego. It's kind of an iconic shot. It's overlooking the pier from uh, Scripps Pier up on these cliffs. And in the winter months, there are these blooms of uh, nice bright red and orange flowers that come out of these aloe plants. So I was out there, you know, taking a, taking a few shots. And, uh, well, let me show you the footage here and uh, when the realization happened that I needed to turn my camera 90 degrees. Set up above Scripps Pier for a classic shot in San Diego. This time of year, these plants bloom. It's got uh, nice reds. It's a little hard to make out probably on this video because I'm backlit right now. Clouds are quite interesting, and uh, the sun is threatening to break, which would be really great. Along the horizon, there's some space out there, so I'm going to hope that uh, the rain holds off, get a little bit of light play here. But even right now, the mood is just pretty darn nice. It's, um, it's, it's tranquil, the sea's very calm. Uh, the sky, even though it looks like it wants to soak us all, is really just kind of you know, floating out there, hanging around. So I am set up very high. See, uh, this is uh, above my head, um, and the reason I'm doing that is so I can get some separation between the pier and these flowers here. So when I take the shot, there's actually some space in there. And the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Uh, F16, so I can get as much depth and even be able to get some of that, that uh, stuff off in the distance there. A little bit of texture in the clouds. Uh, I have a polarizer thrown on the front. Really not so much for anything more than keep a bit of the dust and there's a fair amount of mist in case it rains off the front element and uh, it's giving me a, it's a, a slight decrease in the, the shutter speed. I'm not going to be smoothing out the ocean on this one because if I have motion in these flowers in the front that's going to kind of ruin the whole shot. This is really more about these flowers and then this nice backdrop of context. So now it's just waiting for the light to do some interesting stuff, take a bunch of frames and call it good. Tweak my settings a little bit mainly on the composition. That sky is just too much to pass up. So you can see the settings there, but mainly I've zoomed out just a little bit and tilted a little bit more upward. Still getting a nice sweep of those flowers, but I just can't pass up uh, what's shaping up to be a really, really nice sky. So trying to get as much of this in frame as possible. And uh, quite honestly, the iPhone's doing a pretty darn good job of this right now. I made one more tweak, I've gone vertical. I realized I was struggling and fighting with myself to get the flowers and the sky in the same shot and like it, it just suddenly dawned on me when I was fiddling around with the phone I should rotate vertically and just make this a vertical. This was a good reminder that not every landscape shot needs to be in a landscape orientation and I've processed one of the photos from this outing so far and I really like how it came out and it, you know making it go vertical it allowed me to to get both of the elements in that were very interesting in the uh, in the scene the flowers is what drew me out there and why I wanted to go to this spot at this particular time of year and the sky was just doing some great stuff so uh, that is really the tip of the week right remembering that we can go vertical our camera can shoot in a portrait orientation and that makes sense in a lot of cases and you know if you're uh, if you're shooting and you're doing things like with local publications like magazines or you know flyers or anything that's going around most often those are oriented vertically so i think maybe there's a, a resolution another photo resolution for me for 2017 in there to take a few more shots in the portrait orientation even if I've done a bunch of stuff in the landscape orientation. And that's going to wrap up today's In the Field. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please share this with a friend. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And send in your questions. Always like getting your questions. You'll get an answer real quickly, usually a day or two. And I might use your question to you know, feed the idea engine of In the Field or in post if you're at a post-processing question. Anything photography related, send it my way. Love to hear from you. Well, until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.